Oh, we'll just have you say and spell your first and last name. Dinah Chambers. D-I-N-A-H-C-H-A-M-B-E-R-S. Jatanza. Yeah, Jatanza. Jatanza. His stage name was Kool-Aid. That's what we got. Yeah. Is that what you want to call him? I call him Jatanza Kool-Aid. 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 Yeah. All right. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Can you next time for a minute? Are we going? Hold huh? on. Okay. Good day. Louis? Yeah. Right. Did you get Kiki? Yeah, I got Kiki. Okay, you got that's his sister. I want her to you 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 you, you got her. His dad really should be in another area. If you can pull a number up, I'm gonna ask one of these other young men to grab him. So Okay, gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I just don't wanna lose stuff. So just just go ahead and tell us why you're gathering here. Okay. We're gathering here today to celebrate the life of the time for the Jatan was my son, and we celebrated his life. He died from a colleague, Lala Brown. I don't want to be around either. But I don't want to ever forget my son during this time. This is the legacy that we have to go on. Unfortunately, there's some negativity in here, but the positive area of what he was about. He was a fantastic musician. He's a great father and a wonderful son and a fantastic brother. Okay? Um, we won't let his memory die. He has generations of cousins and nephews and you know, you know, nieces and people and aunts. Yeah, uncles and aunts. And so excuse me. He has lots of people that love him. And because of our love for him, we gather at this time every year just to celebrate that love, remember him, his memories, some of our personal moments with him, you know, and we just gather that information and just let him know we love him. Then we come together collectively because a lot of us, we are from different states. I'm his mom, I'm from New York, his brother's here, Tony, he's from Oregon, you know, we got cousins, people coming from all over the United States to be a part of this, and we're thanking him for it. I'm very grateful for it. But the main thing is, my son won't get to see his children. He has two wonderful children, Jatan, Jatan, Jeremiah Claiborne, and then there's Isaiah Curtis Claiborne. Jatan is 13. Isaiah is 9 or 10, I believe. I'm charging to my brain. Anywho, my grandkids won't see their father. He won't be a part of their school history, of their football games. He'll never know the children. Maybe he's going to miss a lot of personal aspects of life that he would have his children had he been alive. It's a terrible thing that happened to him, that happened to him the way it did. And I just love for someone, because I know somebody out there knows something to reach out. So we're trying to celebrate and also receive justice at the same time. Can you tell me what the last 10 years have been like for you and your family? It's like a roller coaster ride. Some moments you're up, some moments you're down. I reach out here as much as I can, but you don't get you don't get too much information when you don't live in the same state. I believe the Milwaukee Police Department is doing the best that they can in order to collectively solve this issue. They tell me they have some people in custody in other areas that they plan to interrogate or whatever. But what I don't want them to forget is the memory of these two wonderful people. The time who they play more than while I'm around, they deserve justice today. They deserve the right to be able to rest in peace. That person or those persons out there, they got to come forward. And there's people in Milwaukee that really know something about this that maybe didn't think it was important to talk about it now. But it's never too late to bring forth that information. And so we're going to celebrate today and we... You know, we're here. I'm real grateful for the coverage from each and every area of newscast here that I get a chance to express and spread the word abroad about how fantastic this young man was and how he was cut down in his prime. And that we want to remember his memory in music because he was such a great music artist. You know, he created, this was his studio when he was found murdered in here. He had a lot to offer this world. 
and I have a lot of music and I wish I could have gotten some of it here with me. As the years go on and we keep doing the celebration and keep doing these interviews with you all, I'll get better and better at, you know, reminding myself how to collectively come together about bringing his memory to focus so we don't forget who he is. I can never do that. That's all me. But I've had a lot of energy this week to be released. Uh, also, today is his aunt's birthday. Sandy, and we're trying to have a happy day. She got two emotions over here, you know, because he was murdered on her birthday. So, all of the energy I get from the positive people here in Milwaukee and the loved ones, friends, and families, everybody coming together collectively, we give ourselves a chance to continue to enhance through this. What does justice mean for you when you say you want justice? Does that mean, you know, the, the DA charging someone with a crime, that person going to jail? You know, specifically, what is justice for you? Justice to me is, yes, somebody being charged with a crime. They need to come to justice because it, it's only right. These two people were gunned down wrongfully. They, she has a daughter. These two families have been ostracized for no reason. Absolutely. So, yes, justice to me means when they find the people that have done this to my child and to this other wonderful young lady, that'll be justice to me. That'll be justice. I know it's been 10 years, but there is somebody out there that knows something. And I do believe we can get that justice and we just collectively all the social media we got, you don't even have to spell your name or come with it. Just bring the information forward, basically to the Milwaukee Police Department. Or you know what? I'm going to have my children do something. I don't know all about the Facebook thing, but I'll have them do something. It is some, some areas on there. Long the Brown family has done a lot online to try to get information or whatever. But I think, yeah, we need to do something too, and I will have them do something that they can reach out and maybe spill information and we can get it to the police or the detectives, the proper people. Because, yeah, justice to me is these people being found and being charged and being brought to jail. Yes. I know the Milwaukee Police Department says there are suspects in custody in another state charges are pending. Are you hopeful that, you know, that it's been a year since we've, you know, heard originally that someone was arrested. Are you hopeful that there will be charges? Absolutely. I heard about this, but, um, whether there will be charged, I don't know. Uh, they're in another state. We have to collectively take this information and know whether it's true or not. I'm not sure, honestly. I think those people that are responsible are still out here. I do believe because these people are being, they're in custody in another state. I think they may be using this information to kind of have peace in where they're at. To keep from getting in trouble as far as with other people related to their situations. Because sometimes when you get in these corners, you can matriculate information of I'm bad. I'm not sure if they're the ones that's responsible. I haven't heard anything from the Milwaukee Police Department or the detective area to let me know if they're interrogating them, are they going to bring them back to interrogate them. But yes, like you said, it's been a game. I would like to know something, though. I would like to know, have they went down there to talk to them? We need to know. We need to know. Uh, but honestly, I'll have more peace of mind when they're brought here. And I'm able to look them in the face in the court and just see who done this to my child. That's what we do. I want to see and see them brought in and held responsible for these acts. Anything else you want to say that you can answer? Well, again, I just want to give you a little bit remember. I, I'm really grateful for those that have reached out, those that can. I appreciate you right now. My thanks and uh, accolades go on to you now for all the help that you're going to give me and uh, police department are finding these people to bring them to justice. Everyone that has already reached out and shown their love and support for the, this time of year as we get together for the celebration collectively to remember their memories. I thank them. I'd like to thank them publicly. But most of all, I really want to thank you all, the news team. Without you, I couldn't get this out. I really appreciate
these were two people that were going to the back. They offered the city a lot. The city loved them. The least you can do is honor their love the city by letting somebody know. These were cowards. These were people without their souls who did that. And I'm going to tell you right now, I got 10 racks for anybody who comes forward and it leads to a conviction. This is his brother. This is Tony. This is his brother. He's reaching out. So we're here, and we love all of you here in Milwaukee, we really do. This is his brother, and I'm like, we, we just, we're looking forward to some closure. We're looking forward to more answers. We really, I'm going to say this, we have some closure because we all know God. Y'all got I do. I got some closure, but we want to close this case. How about that? We like to close this case and bring these people to where they're supposed to be for what they actually said. They deserve that. They really do. So. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.